Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jolie from Jolie Loves Beauty. Thank you so much for coming back. I just want to say a big thank you for your feedback on my first video. I am so grateful to all of you guys. I woke up this morning to 100 views. 100 views. All because of you guys. You guys did it. You guys did it. Thank you so, so, so much. I appreciate you guys. I just wanted to do a quick intro into my next video, or at least a continuation of that first video. It was by popular demand. <laughs> you guys requested it, and I'm going to bring it to you guys. Thank you so much, so much for sharing, and thank you so much for just giving me an opportunity here on YouTube. Um, I will do my best to bring you guys what you guys want to watch. Let me know what you guys want to see, what kind of content you guys want. My next video, I want it to be a beauty video because I want to make sure that um, I stick to the purpose of my channel, which is to just let you guys know that it's okay. That no matter what you're going through, you can still be beautiful. And this is what I want to do. So my next one will be a, um, I don't want to say a tutorial on a makeup look. It's just going to be me putting makeup on my face. And as I get better at this, I may be able to actually give you guys tutorials and better video. Right now I'm using my iPad to bring these videos to you. So please do excuse me for that. Um, don't mind the boxes back here. The reason why they're there is because those are also um, going to be part of my videos. They are unboxing videos for Mary Kay products. So um, I want to share those with you too. I know it's fun. I know I have a lot of fun when I get my Mary Kay product because even though I order them, it's it's fun. It's just straight up fun to be able to open a box and look at them, talk about them, express to you what it's in there, what it is, and we can share that together. So thanks again for coming through. Remember, please, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That's going to help me a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the little notification bell so that every time I load up a new video, you guys get an alert saying, listen, Jolie Loves Beauty just dropped you another video for you to watch, okay? So thanks again so much, and um, please continue watching. Have a good day. That I have been diagnosed also with um, psoriatic arthritis. That means that every joint in my body hurts. It means that there is some kind of buildup as psoriasis. If you know what psoriasis is, which I also have. If you know what psoriasis is, it's a scaling of your skin, top of each other, just thick layers of skin on certain areas of your body that look like sores, and they are very flaky all the time. Well, that's just your body producing skin at a higher level than the rest of your body. Certain of those sores, those sores are um, developing faster, more skin faster than the rest of your body. So. What does that do? It causes these ugly patches of scaly skin, dry skin, disgusting. Well, the same way those patches appear in your skin, they're also on my joints. So that means that there's pain in my joints. There's pain. Anything that is a joint, my hands, my wrists, my elbows, my shoulders, shoulder blades, everything hurts. Everything everything hurts. They had me on um, methotrexate. Well, they tried to put me on Otesla. The insurance didn't want to cover it. So they put me on methotrexate. My levels of inflammation, there's a number that they have several numbers. I think it's three numbers, but there's one number that should be at 11.4. Don't ask me for all the medical terms because I don't care to learn them. All I know is pain and relief. I'm looking for relief for my pain and I don't know medical terms. All I know is I'm hurting and I want it to go away. So this level that should be at 11.4 was at 36, 37, 38 in that area. Every month I went in, it's still 30 something, 30 something, 30 something. So the doctor said, let me put the, I want you to take this medication for the next few months and then we'll revisit the situation. So. We go into methotrexate, taking methotrexate along with folic acid to protect my liver and my kidneys and making sure that everything is working fine. I go in, do my blood work every three to four months, and finally we come to the conclusion that nothing is happening with this medication. My levels are still at a 37, so which is about three times, 
almost four times more than where they need to be. So another thing that happens with high inflammation of your body, there could be a lymphoma, which is cancer of the lymph nodes, which occurs with high inflammation of the body. So in order to avoid that, now the doctor has prescribed Humira. So now I am waiting for the Humira, which is extremely expensive um, and money is needed, which is why I have decided to stay yet the rest of this year at work so that my insurance can go ahead and cover for the rest of this year. Going forward from there, my husband will take care of it next year and I will be dedicated only to Mary Kay and YouTube. I need to find relief. I need to make it better. This is what I tell myself every day. This is what I want for myself every day. Does it happen? No. Have I accustomed myself to live with chronic pain? Yes. Have I woken up hurting so bad that I can't get up out of my bed? Yes. Do I roll out of bed? Yes. Am I able to just sit up in bed? No. Am I able to just get out of my bed when I'm finally in a sitting up position to get up and go to my bathroom? No. I have to wait until my joints decide that they want to work. I have to wait until my body decides that it wants to work. So living in chronic pain is not easy. On top of the fact that I have thyroid issues, which also causes fatigue, which also causes weight gain. Um, also, the liver could cause his weight gain. So, of course, I am a little thick. Thicker than I prefer to be. Is it easy to lose weight? No. Is my eating habits where they need to be? No. Are my eating habits? No. No. No good. So now I have to teach myself how to eat again. I have to teach myself how to do everything in order to be able to, to make it work. Now, would this drive a person crazy? Yes. Yes. This can drive anybody crazy. It can make you depressed. It can make you... I mean, I have some people that have reached out to me and told me that their parent, their mom, has fibromyalgia. Also diagnosed very young. She's a beautiful woman. Beautiful. Very sexy. Very elegant. And now she feels like she cannot function because of the fibromyalgia. And it becomes suicidal. Um, the thoughts of suicide? Yes. The thought of you not being able to make it another day? Yes, they're there. Um, living in chronic pain is for real. Does it always show on the outside? No. It doesn't always show on the outside. It's something that you deal with on a daily basis, something that you have to deal with. As time goes on, I will tell you every day different experiences, or in every video I'll give you um, different experiences of what I've been through that week or those couple of days or however often I post videos. I'll give you a, a catch you up on what's going on. I just recently am now coming out of a fibro flare, what they call a fibro flare, which is flare-ups from fibromyalgia. In my case, I couldn't sleep. In my case, my back was burning so bad. It was in so much pain. I get anxious. I'll be sleeping and I'll wake up with a full-blown anxiety attack. I can't breathe. I can't function. I jump out of my bed when I can't really move. But I move as fast as I possibly can. I'm in pain. I'm throwing up. Uh, my irritable bowel starts acting up and I end up in the shower sometimes with my clothes or sometimes I make it in there and I'm able to take my clothes off before I get in there. I need to breathe. I need to relax. I need to bring my brain, my mind back into a place where I'm telling myself, I can breathe. I can do this. I'm okay. Um, it's not easy to do this. Everybody out there that doesn't understand chronic pain will look at you and be like, you're not sick, you look great. Especially when I'm dressed up, my hair is done beautifully, I'm dressed up, I have a full face of my Mary Kay. And I look perfectly normal, I look elegant, I look beautiful, I look sexy, whatever name they want to call it, whatever you want to describe it as, all of the above. But nobody knows that beneath all of that, there is a woman who cries. There is a woman whose body is aching so bad that um, sometimes she feels like she just is better off not alive. So what do I do to get through that? What do I do to ease my mind and ease my pain and not focus on that? Well, I always say this to my children in every video that we talk. We have Marco Polo and we Marco Polo every single morning. I tell them. Every single day when I'm on my way to work, I wish them a great day. And at the end of my video, I always tell them, remember to smile on purpose and with a purpose, knowing that God is good and in control of all things. I am a believer. If you are not, that is okay. Whatever strength it is that you believe in, 
that makes things better, then that's fine. I don't want to criticize anyone on this channel, and I don't want to come off on this channel like you have to be a certain religion or a certain um, uh, belief, whatever that may be. I believe in God, so I pray to God. So what helps me? I read the Bible. I listen to music. I um, listen to an audiobook. I watch a movie. I watch YouTube videos, beauty YouTube videos. Um, I'll find something that hits my happy spot, and I'll focus on that. So I take it there. I remind myself that I am a young woman, I'm a strong woman, that I have control over how I'm going to feel. Whether the pain is there or not, I will not let it bring it down. I will not let it control me, and I will not let it defeat me. So I tell myself every day, I am good. I'm going to smile on purpose and with a purpose, knowing that God is good and in control of all things. He will never give us anything that we cannot bear. So if you go every single day and you go to work every day and you're in pain, smile. There's a purpose for all things. Um, you, maybe me going through this is for me to have my YouTube channel, for me to come out to you and tell you, listen, this is what I go through. This is what I experience. This is what you might experience. So every single day you're going to get up on purpose. You're going to smile on purpose. You're going to do your hair on purpose. You're going to do everything on purpose with a good purpose. Because everything does have a purpose. Um, you are here for a purpose. I started my YouTube channel talking about this because there's a purpose. Now I figured that if beauty makes me feel better, then that could be something that can touch other women at another level or men. At any level. So here I am starting my channel. A channel which reaches out to men and women that suffer with chronic pain, um, but still find a way to find peace and happiness in what they love to do. Whether it's makeup for me, I'll be doing makeup videos, tutorials, as well as just coming on here and um, talking about makeup, and as well as unboxing certain things, whether it's makeup or whether it's my subscription, whatever subscription it may be, and I'll unbox it and I'll talk about it, and we'll have different things to talk about. Um, Please feel free to comment down below. Feel free to share um, your thoughts, share your ideas. Give me ideas to continue to be able to bring this channel. Ask questions. I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions that you may have regarding any situation as long as I know the answer. I am not a doctor. I am just a woman who has several illnesses that cause chronic pain, that are debilitating, that are just nasty nasty shouldn't exist but they do something that the body goes through and our bodies are just you know we we never know what's going to happen they're not something that always tell us okay you're going to feel pain today or you're going to be painless today or you're going to hurt today less than yesterday or you're actually going to hurt tomorrow when you're, you've ever had hurt something that you're ready for no we're not ready we're not always ready we just know we're going to hurt we just know that it could be a low level we just know that it could be at a 10 we just know that it could be at a 1500 um, I always wake up every single morning between a 5 and an 8 I stay between a 5 and an 8 all the time have I gotten used to yes am I hurting now yes um, am I ignoring it now yes am I gonna let it bring me down no will I rest after this video yes because I have to give my body rest because there's only so much my body can deal with if you're hurting from sitting down too much then get up and walk if walking hurts your feet then sit if sitting hurts your feet lay down laying down on one side hurts too much lay on the other recline yourself in a recliner I have my seat my chair which I sit in and that's my chair and nobody sits in my chair and that's where I go I can't sit in the regular sofas I can't sit in a regular chair because I have to sit in a certain spot this little chair I got me right here this, it's, it has a nice leaning, but it still leans back a little bit, so I have to constantly sit up straight on it and hope that it's going to be enough for what I have to do. So, I hope that wasn't too much. I hope it wasn't all over the place. Um, I just want you to know that it is going to be okay for you to sound off in the bottom. We're going to keep this channel as positive as possible. I don't care for anybody to come on here and criticize anyone else who shares their pain, anyone else who shares their anxiety or their anguish or whatever the situation may be. Please don't criticize. 
if you don't understand what it's like to live in chronic pain. Because it's easy to look one way on the outside, but nobody knows what it's like to feel on the inside. Um, not all illnesses show outward. Um, not all illnesses will be smelly or nasty or disgusting or visible. There's a lot of illnesses that we go through that are silent killers. Um, diabetes, for one, it's an illness that not everybody, it doesn't show on the skin, yet it is a constant battle to control your sugars. It's a constant battle to control it, to not feel like you're going to pass out, to feel like you can't put two words together because your sugar is so low and you just feel like you're about to shut off. You just don't know what anybody is going through. You never know. So please don't criticize. If you can't stay positive, then this is not the channel for you. Just move on to another channel that will um, tickle your fancy. Another channel that is going to make you happy. Another channel that is going to be exactly what you're looking for. But if this is not the channel for you, then you shouldn't be here. Don't criticize. Don't make it negative. We're going to stay positive. We're going to be encouraging. We're going to lift up. And we're going to do it with words. We're going to do it with actions, um, through makeup, through just different sharing. Just sharing different things every day. Again, please sound off below. Please give me your comments. Give me your ideas. Any questions, comments, concerns, complaints. Um, put them down below. Positive complaints as if, oh, I couldn't hear you. Or there's too much background noise. Or the picture wasn't clear enough. Or, I mean, you already know why the picture isn't going to be clear enough. I am on my iPad. And you know, it's just not going to be a perfect picture. Thank you so much for coming by and watching this video. Please share, please hit thumbs up if you like this channel. It will help me a lot. Um, it will help me get out there and it will help me help other people with whatever situation may be. So like I said, I'll share daily experiences of what I'm going through. Some days will be tutorials. Maybe that day I'll be feeling so messed up where I don't even want to function, but makeup will be my rescue. So if you're interested in makeup, if you suffer of chronic pain, and you're interested to know what it is to be empowered through beauty rather than dealing with chronic pain every single day quietly and just letting that consume your day, this is the channel for you. Let's empower each other. Let's lift each other up, whether it's through words or whether it's through beauty. Um, give me ideas. Um, let me know what you want to see down below and I'll be more than happy to do that. Now, as I said, I will be closing my video with my little mantra or my little saying of every day. Remember to smile on purpose with a purpose, knowing that God is good and in control of all things. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video. Bye.